So this is my fictional monument outdoors company that I'm going to be launching my interactions from. But first I want to show you real quick the agent uh, desktop. And as you can see, the agent is available. You can set a non-case um, URL, so that might be like an intranet site, or you might want your agents to see uh, statistics, that's up to you. So I'm ready to take an interaction, so we'll go ahead and we'll start with mobile. So those attention retainers are programmable in the scenario builder. And I got an alert that I have an inbound interaction. So I can see exactly where the customer is um, reaching out to us from. And she's going to take a picture of this problem that she has. And now the agent can see, yep, that temple is broken. And so uh, telling her to go to the store wouldn't work out because she's clearly several miles out and on her camping trip. So she's going to use her knowledge base to give her a temporary remedy. And this is what the customer would see. Let's go ahead and end this interaction. And now the customer is presented with a survey. So of course I did a fantastic job and I am going to recommend me in the future and we'll submit it. And so through this demo, you're going to see that element of survey is consistent throughout. And, and I will be showing you in the scenario builder how easy it is to add the element of surveys to any one of your interactions. So next let's do a chat, a web chat. And this is just simple HTML, so you can have this screen look like anything you want. You can even have it um, pop up automatically uh, when a customer has been you know, on a certain page for a certain amount of time. You don't have to collect information. It can just go, take, take you straight to a chat. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and grab some information because I am going to do a database lookup. Oh, wait a minute. I'm Jesse. And I'm going to take an email address because I am going to offer to send a chat transcript. Broken tent pole. So I can see that incoming interaction. Notice on the right hand side that my screen pop is different. So in this case, I just programmed a simple screen pop. This can be anything you want it to be. I'm bringing in some of the elements that I brought in from my form. I'm bringing in the question. You could see how easily you could have a script. You could have um, a different icons. Here I'm telling the agent what service it's coming in on. So again, let's just solve her problem real quick. Here's how you fix that broken pole. And from the customer's perspective, she can click on the hyperlink. That might be all she needs. So let's just stop the chat. And again, I get that survey. And of course, I'm going to give myself very high scores. And I am going to request a transcript. So let's go ahead and disposition. And maybe I'm going to 
flag this later on because clearly we're having issues with those uh, tent poles. And now I'm ready to take another interaction. I'm going to wrap it up with an inbound call and my main purpose you know obviously we, we know we can take an inbound call but I want to show you more flexibility on the screen pop end and what the scenario builder can do just to give you the art of the possibility So in this screen pop, I wanted to really drive home that it, it is, you can make it as simple or as I did here, as complicated as you want. So here's the call data that I'm getting, the CTI data. Here's the database query that I did on Annie. I put a link here to my CRM and did a data dip on Annie. I can bring up the local weather even launch the, C, uh, the uh, Salesforce CRM record. So I'm going to go ahead and flag this call because this is the third one. And so as a supervisor, and this is a supervisor's perspective, I can see that Christina, that's me, has flagged this call. So I may just want to say, you know, how can I help? And this is our internal chat. And so I can chat back and forth with my supervisor. And in this case, I want to show you how I can, number one, pull the screen. as well as monitor, silent monitor, coach, or barge in. And then I can grade the call. So I'm gonna go ahead and monitor real quick and grade it. So my supervisor uh, told me that I should probably just go ahead um, instead of giving her the information over the phone because it's kind of hard to do, SMS her the information. And so I have access to my same knowledge base. And so while I'm on a voice call, I can SMS back and forth with the customer. And you can't see my phone, but I just got that fixed right there. I'm going to go ahead and end the call and uh, send myself to the survey. Answer our short three-question survey. Was your issue resolved? If resolved, press 1. If not, press 2. So you see, we have the same survey experience. And that ability to SMS with an inbound caller is very powerful. You can see how that really could um, enable first contact resolution.